from the most expensive highway project in the United States to Japan's island airport to China's most successful railroad, here are five of the most expensive construction projects ever built. Which construction project had the biggest impact in your country? Let us know in the comments below. If you enjoy our content, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to Top Luxury. Number 5. The New Suez Canal The original Suez Canal was completed in 1869 and provides the shortest maritime route between Europe and the Indian and Western Pacific Oceans. It remains one of the world's most heavily used shipping lanes, extending over 193 kilometers. The importance of the Suez Canal is evident from the fact that its six-day blockade earlier this year caused the world a trade loss of over $50 billion. Last year, around 12% of world trade passed through this canal. Despite its massive significance, most of the canal only allowed for a single shipping lane, letting in 49 cargo vessels every day on average. So, in 2014, Egypt started work on creating a 35-kilometer-long second shipping lane, parallel to the Suez Canal. The new Suez Canal also deepened and widened a huge part of the old waterway. The upgrade was completed just a year later for $9.2 billion and facilitated traffic in two directions. It also helped minimize the waiting time for transiting ships. Due to these additions, the number of cargo vessels passing through the Suez Canal will increase to 97 by 2023. The canal is also projected to generate over $12 billion in revenue in 2023, up from close to $5 billion it generated in 2014. It is one of the most expensive construction projects in history. However, the new Suez Canal is tipped to make up for the billion spent on its construction. Number 4. The Channel Tunnel When we talk of expensive transit projects on the seas, it is difficult to look past the Channel Tunnel, which connects England to France through the English Channel. The tunnel takes high-speed railways through a distance of over 50 kilometers undersea and holds the record for the longest undersea tunnel in the world. The idea for an undersea tunnel connecting France and Britain has been around since the early 1800s, but the limitations of technology and the political unrest meant that it took almost a couple of centuries to finally build it. In 1987, drilling began on the British side, and around one year later, France started construction on their side too. The most difficult task was to ensure that the two sides would actually meet. To do this, they used special lasers and surveying equipment. Nevertheless, it was a great relief when they actually met on December 1, 1990. For the first time in history, Britain and France were connected. The whole project was completed six years after starting, at a cost of $12 billion. As a tribute to its achievements in civil engineering, it was named as one of the seven wonders of the modern world. Still, there's no denying that the Channel Tunnel is expensive. However, another tunnel across the continent ended up costing even more. Number 3. Boston's Big Dig this project was approved in 1987 to replace the outdated Central Artery Road, which could only accommodate 75,000 vehicles per day. However, more than twice as many cars were using it per day, causing delays of up to 10 hours. To solve the problem, the plan was to build an eight-lane underground highway that would run up to six kilometers under the heart of Boston. Construction of the Big Dig started in 1991 and should have originally been finished seven years later. However, as with many megaprojects, there were some problems and delays. The location's proximity to Boston Harbor gave rise to environmental concerns, and the authorities couldn't get the necessary environmental permits until 1994. In addition, construction was complicated by two subway tracks that were in the way and the substance of the soil. The area through which the tunnels were to be dug was largely landfill. Furthermore, foundations of buried houses and even a number of sunken ships had to be removed. During the process, they also made some archaeological discoveries dating back to the pre-revolutionary era. 
As a result of this, the originally planned costs of $2.8 billion skyrocketed, and the project was completed with a delay of nine years in 2007. The Boston Globe estimated that the project will ultimately cost $22 billion, including interest, and that it won't be fully paid off until 2038. But the project improved the traffic situation in that area. It can handle over 250,000 vehicles every day, ensuring a smoother flow of traffic and easier cross-city access. However, the city still has major problems with traffic, and it is argued that the project has only shifted them to other places. On the other hand, the completion of the Big Dig has managed to reduce the carbon monoxide levels in the area and contributes to a better quality of life for its residents. The previous elevated highway was demolished and freed up almost 300 acres of land for green projects, parks, and open spaces. What do you think about this project? Let us know in the comments below. Number 2. Kansai International Airport Moving away from tunnels, we take a trip to Japan's Kansai region and take a closer look at the world's first airport to be built on an artificial island. The Kansai International Airport is one of Asia's busiest airports and can remain operational 24 hours a day because of its isolated location. When this offshore airport was approved, the location for its construction did not exist. So, the first step was to construct an artificial island that can hold a world-class airport. Construction work on this man-made island and the future airport destination started in 1987. A 30-meter layer of earth was laid on top of the water by crushing three mountains and pouring them into a seabed consisting of thousands of heavy sand pipes. The result was a 4.5 kilometer long and 2.5 kilometer wide artificial island, which was completed in 1990. The airport was finished four years after that and was officially opened in 1994. After some modifications, repairs, and the addition of a second runway, the total costs had risen to $24 billion. However, the novel location and engineering innovation made the Kansai International Airport an instant hit. More than 28 million passengers used Kansai International Airport in 2019, and it ranked third in Japan behind Tokyo Airport and Narita International Airport. However, it's still quite some way behind Beijing's Capital International Airport that crossed the 100 million passenger mark during that same year. Keeping that in mind, expansions are underway, which will enable the airport to accommodate 40 million international passengers a year by 2025. But when it comes to the most expensive transit project, our number one, the Beijing-Shanghai High-Speed Railway, takes the cake. The rail line cut travel time by more than half and was completed in just three years. The 1,320-kilometer-long railway was built at a cost of $40 billion and was opened to the public in 2011. During the first decade of operations, the railway line has already served over 1.3 billion people. Every day, 41 bullet trains traveling at speeds close to 350 kilometers depart from Beijing, drive south down to Jinan, pass through Nanjing, and complete a trip to Shanghai in about five hours. The same trip took about 12 to 14 hours before this high-speed railway was opened. In 2019 alone, the rail line transported over 210 million passengers, with daily ridership peaking at 798,000 passengers. So, even though the project used up more than $40 billion of the taxpayers' money, it ended up being a smashing success. Many of China's high-speed trains run on subsidies and losses. However, the Beijing-Shanghai High-Speed Railway managed to generate close to a billion dollars in 2015. The company's net profits increased up to 40% every year up to 2019. The railway line's resounding success even made its way to the Shanghai Stock Exchange in January 2020. It debuted on the exchange after one of the biggest IPOs in Chinese history, where the company raised about $4.5 billion, selling over 6 billion shares on the first day. The most expensive transit megaproject in history remained profitable even during the pandemic. To this day, it is considered to be the most profitable railroad line in the world. 
Have you traveled through or with one of these expensive yet fascinating mega developments? Let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed, leave a like and subscribe to Top Luxury for more.